Now let's just take this thing for a drive and see what else uh, we can see that's glaringly wrong with it. Definitely sounds like a G-Wagon. around I don't know if you heard the door locks but it's probably my favorite feature in this is the sound of the door locks gets moving. Now, I don't know if all the horsepower is there, but it seems for the most part it's got a decent amount of power. It definitely needs an alignment. I'm assuming that also might be why that uh, left front tire blew out the way it did, is because uh, this this is me going straight and that steering wheel is not straight. And you can, you can see it kind of pulls pulls to the right quite a bit. side window because the glass is straight up it reflects a lot so a lot of people complain about that but I mean otherwise it uh, it drives pretty well for what it is let's put it into sport mode here and see how it uh, how it shifts Tire spin. Now this thing being four-wheel drive, I think the outside left front tire spun there on the corner. But it drives pretty smooth other than the alignment being off. So I don't know why that would be if I don't know if the previous owner hit a curb or a pothole or what happened but we'll have to get underneath and uh, make sure nothing's bent and then once I get the new tires put on I'll take it straight for an alignment because I don't want to uh, ruin the new tires right away but I can do a quick uh, acceleration run here zero to 60 is on this thing. Shows you the oil temperature and your 
coolant temperature, your speed and the gear you're in. It's pretty useful information there.